everybody. All right, let's use the method of joints to solve this problem. So method of joints means you go joint to joint. So let's just go in order A, B, C. So joint A, free body diagram looks like this beam, this beam, and then some load here. Okay, and then let's get the geometry in here. This is 20 degrees. This here is, see this triangle here? So it's gotta be arc tangent of opposite over adjacent. So this angle would be, I'll just call it theta. Theta. Well, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if you want the angle, just take arc tangent. Okay, so we know that angle. And then the angle on this side is, oh, it's the same uh, geometry. Okay, so it's the same angle on this side. Okay, so then same angle on this side. And this is between A and B. This one is A and C. Okay, so this is joint A. Joint B over here looks like that, that, and then there's a pin. So let me pick a coordinate system. Okay, so at the pin B, I will decompose the reaction at B into X and Y components. And this is B, A, and B. This one here is B and C. All right now, joint C looks like here, here. So this is between A and C. Here is between B and C. And there's a roller. So there's a roller. So the reaction at the roller is normal to the surface that it's rolling on. Okay, so here we go. We got three free body diagrams and we have one, two, three, four, five, six unknowns. So for each free body diagram, we can write two equations. So for joint A, this one, let's write two equations. So in the x direction, we got negative TAB cosine plus TAC cosine minus 800 sine 20, right? Because the x direction is here, which is opposite that 20 degrees. And then in the y direction, we have negative TAB sine theta minus TAC sine theta minus 800 cosine 20. Okay, so two equations, two unknowns, which means you can solve for those two. And I drew all of my arrows in tension. So if the number you calculate is positive, that means it's tension. If the number you calculate is negative, then it's compression. Okay, and then, so you solve these two equations, two unknowns. So you would know TAB, that would be known, which is the same answer here. You would know TAC, right, you'd solve it, which is the same as right here. Okay, so that means, where should we go next? If we get to this one, see how there are three unknowns? But this one, two unknowns. So let's go to joint C next with its two unknowns here. Okay, so let's write these equations. This is also, let's see, what angle is this? Oh, it's the same, okay theta. Alright, so x direction, negative TBC 
minus T A C cosine equals zero. Y direction T A C sine plus C equals zero. And then again, we already have this number from the previous free body diagram. So that means there are only these, let's see, these two unknowns, right? So then that's straightforward to solve. C is negative TAC sine theta, and then TBC is negative TAC cosine theta. So now we know both of these answers. And then you see this one right here. This is the same as this here. So now we go to joint B, write two equations to solve for these two remaining unknowns. And this angle is also the same, theta. Okay, so x direction. Oh, I wrote x and y backwards. I know, sorry. This is x, this is y. Okay, x direction. Bx plus tbc plus tab cosine. Okay, y direction. By plus tab sine theta. Again, we already know TAB, so we know this already. TBC, we know already. We know AB already. So only two unknowns. Okay, so just solve for those two unknowns. Straightforward. Right, so now we know everything. Okay, let me know if you have any more questions about this one, and I'll see you in the next video.